imagine with me that this rope, imagine with me that this rope goes on forever. It doesn't really, it stops right over there by the piano. So we're going to try our imaginations out today. So imagine with me that this rope goes on forever. Also imagine with me that this rope represents your existence. This little red section here represents your time on this earth. And the rest of this represents your time in eternity. Now, interestingly enough, we can get so caught up in our lives and doing things for ourselves here, making sure that we're comfortable, making sure that life is convenient, making sure that we have all the things that we want, that we spend all our time focusing here. Now, some of us have a life plan that says, I cannot wait until I get here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work hard, I'm going to save, 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 and I am going to finally be able to live when I get here. I'm, I'm going to eat well. I'm going to travel all over the world. I'm going to do all the things that I ever wanted to do. Now, I believe that this gift, this life, is a gift from God that we are to appreciate and value. But don't you think that we should spend some time thinking about all this? I mean, the Bible not only says that God has given us this gift of life, it also says that we are supposed to be stewards of this gift. That we are supposed to make investments here that go on over into here. And here's the other interesting thing about what the Bible says about this life, this time, this little bitty section here. This little bitty section is where we make decisions that determine how we spend the rest of this. And it would be a tragedy of the highest order if we focus so much on this that we were distracted from this. Because the ending of this is abrupt. It's quick. And it's final. The Bible in the book of Hebrews, chapter, the ninth chapter, says, It's appointed unto men and women once to live and once to die. And after this, the judgment. Is that what we want for this time? This comes to an end and it is forever, and the transition is abrupt. It will come like a thief without warning when we least expect it. Just when we think everything is safe and secure, Jesus describes the scenario as when a thief comes and breaks in and steals all our valuable stuff. If all our valuable stuff is here, the Bible would say that we are truly poor indeed. I'm setting the stage for something. Make sure that you're not so invested in this, that you miss out on this. Make sure that, and, and here's the thing too, a lot of people spend a lot of time following prophecy. I think that can be a distraction as well. Because the purpose of, of prophetic word and, and prophecy isn't so that we can know more than other people. The purpose is to affect the, the way I live my life and who I become, how God begins to work in my life because of what is true in the scriptures, because of how God is fulfilling the scriptures. What a tragic irony. If I invest 
however many years God gives me, only in this. And I miss out on this. Oh, what if I'm so caught up in investing in stuff for me here that that person that God's brought into my life who needs Jesus enters into a Christless eternity because all I could think about was me and not them? Or what if I spent all my time gathering up treasures on earth, things that can be stolen, things that can fall, fall apart, and I don't spend any time investing for God's kingdom and sending things on ahead? This comes to an end. The end is abrupt, it's final. There's no turning back. And this goes on forever. Live this with this in mind.